Hello, this is Abela David. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show us how to split values into multiple columns using the filter XML function. Let's get started. Now, let's take a look at our sample data. We have the month, the year, customer type, account manager, product category, unit sold, price, and total. And we have the iPhone as the delimiter. So based on the delimits, I want to split all of these into multiple columns. So let's start. Come to cell B2, equal sign, filter, XML. Now the function returns the specific data from the XML content by using the specified export. So I press my tab key on the other two arguments to provide the XML, which is the same thing as extensible markup language. And we have the export. So for my XML, I'm going to use a single curve, okay? And I use what is called an angle bracket because this is an expression, so we must put it inside double quotation for Excel to understand what we are telling it to do. So use my angle bracket, then I'm going to use Y, then close my angle bracket, another one with Z inside, then I close my expression, then use the ampersand sign to concatenate that with, then deploy the substitute function, which replaces existing text with new text in a text string so press my tab key there are three arguments to provide which are the compulsory and one optional so for my text then i want to substitute if you say a2 comma now what's the old text now the old text is simply our iphone delimiter so in double quote putting my um iphone then i close that up comma now for the new text that i'm going to substitute with i'm going to replace do exactly what I did there with some modification. Okay, so single call, then I want my um, angle bracket. Now, in this case, I'm going to deploy the four slash Z, then I'm going to close that up, another angle bracket. Now, in this case, I want the Z alone, not with the four slash, very important. So I close that up, then I close my expression. That is cool. Now, the fourth argument of the substitute is not compulsory, so I'm going to skip that. Um, Press, close my substitute parenthesis then I'm going to use another ampersand sign now in this case I want inside the quotation the angle bracket now I want four slash Z then I close that up and I want another angle bracket now in this case I want four slash Y and I close that up and I close my expression now this is cool comma now the last argument which is the second argument anyway of the filter xml is the expert so for that i want single quote then double four slash z so we're actually recalling the z okay then i close my other quotation and close my filter xml formula control enter boom it delivered all the headings it splits to the neighboring cells below that is cool now I have the dynamic arrays on my system so I don't need the legacy control shifts um, enter to get this done by using the transpose so let me try, let me deploy the transpose function right about it then I close my transpose control enter so it transposed the data to the row row 2 okay that's fine now let me just copy my formula down boom can you see that we have all the month all the year the customer type account manager product category unit sold price and total this is amazing cool so we've been able to split all this data in column a into multiple columns now that's the first example now before we move to the example two we discovered that we use the at coded value so we're going to use in the example two a direct cell reference so let me just copy this formula ctrl c press escape let's go to the example two now i'm going to paste here boom we have the same thing so i'm going to substitute all these my y's with the value inside cell b1 then all my z i want to substitute that with the value inside cell c1 so let's go ahead so this is going to be so i'm going to delete and let's do c1 i'm going to delete this and let's do c1 and delete this and let's do c1 
okay and the y is going to be b1 okay we can actually use either numbers or text or whatever it's fine okay but we can't use the same number or the same text for y and z no we have to use something different it's very important and the last one is the z which is going to be c1 so when i do control enter we have the same thing which is dynamic okay so when i copy the formula down boom it deliver the same result okay so these are the neighboring cells okay that it spills so wow this is cool i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to split values into multiple columns using the filter function if you do give some likes comment and do remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so thank you and bye for now